when students ask me, can you help me with my time management? Can you help me with my focus? Can you help me with my speed, et cetera, et cetera? These are all symptoms. And we need to ask ourselves, what's the underlying issue? Okay, because I can guarantee that most of you have made like New Year's resolutions or New Week resolutions of this week is going to be different. This week, I'm going to study for five hours a day. This week, I'm going to do this. And then the same thing happens again and again and again and again. No matter how much we tell ourselves, you know, this is the week that I'm going to eat salad. <laughs> we, we, go back, we go back to eating pizza and hamburgers, you know, and we just, we can't quite seem to get ourselves to do what we plan to do. So the question is, what's the underlying issue? What's causing our habits? Why can't we create good habits? What are these good habits supposed to be? Where do they come from? Um, and what do we need to be aware of? So as I say, when we first started studying, no one sat down and said, this is what learning is. This is how learning works. This is, this is the best way to study. When you go into every year of your studies and your next year of studies, no one sits down and says, okay, just let's take a breath here. Let's understand what the outcomes here are. Like, what are you supposed to do with this stuff? What do you need to be able to do? Why do they do things the way they do? What does this look like? What do these people expect from you? Because you need to work backwards. We just kind of go into the year going, okay, get my books, get my stuff, and the outcome is an exam. That's kind of, that's it. That's all we've got. We kind of think that when we get to a new year, we kind of think it's just going to be harder and there's going to be more work. You know, we go, okay, well, there's more work and it's harder. But that's not actually true. So especially when we move from undergrad to CTA, and a lot of you are, are moving into CTA or doing CTA or redoing CTA or doing the next level of CTA, there's a massive difference between what they want from you in undergrad and what they want from you in CTA. And it's not harder and it's not more, it's different. We've got to understand that the starting point is understanding what do they want from me? Um, and in a lot of cases, we don't really see that because we've got some underlying blind, sort of blind spots as well. We've got some stuff that we struggle with as well, and this is what we're going to talk about. So let's talk about the underlying issue. Let's talk about where this comes from and why we struggle with this stuff.